Hi guys! I'm super excited to show you our new Capra Uncatch 6 model coming with the brand new Access Flight Attendant system. Flight Attendant is the only automatic suspension system that responds to different riding scenarios based on the rider's preferences in real time. This sounds like we can even elevate the experience with our bikes. Let's go! To get set up for our first ride, it's necessary to pair the whole Access system. The pairing takes only a few minutes. Before we jump into the setup, make sure all batteries are fully charged and all components show a green light after pushing the access button on each device. To get started, we first need to activate the pedal sensor by pressing the access button of the cranks for about 5 seconds until the LED illuminates. Let's make sure all components are awake before we pair. You may have to move the bike and compress the rear shock a couple of times to wake it up or just push the access button. The fork control module is the master component, aka the brain of the system. It's the first thing being put into pairing mode by pushing the access button until the pairing LED blinks green slowly. Now we can pair all additional system components by pushing the access button until the LED both on the component and on the control module blink green quickly. Please make sure we do not forget any component in the pairing. Imagine a circle on the bike starting with the hand pedals. Once we have paired everything, we can finish by pushing the access button on the control module once. The LEDs on the top of the control module draw a green circle which indicates the end of the pairing session. Now we are ready to set up our suspension. The Trailhead app can help us to find a good starting point for the fork. Just enter the fork's serial number and your rider's weight in full riding gear and you get your base setup for air pressure and rebound. For adjusting the rear shock, we can use the YT setup guide to find a proper setup for air pressure and rebound on our first rides. Please remember the rider's weight should include full riding gear. Last but not least, we need to calibrate the system. Sit on the bike for this on a level surface in full riding gear to really put both shock and fork to their exact positions. Press and hold both adjustment buttons for 3 seconds until the pedal LED pulses wide. Red LEDs during calibration indicate that the bike is leaning too much to one side and it's not really vertically. Hold the bike vertically with straight bars until the LED blinks white and we are done with that. When the open LED pulses wide, we get off the bike and stand over it. We tilt the bike to the non-drive side with the bar straight and hold it steady. As soon as the open LED starts blinking quickly, the calibration is complete. The system now is set up in auto mode. The open LED pulses green and we are ready for our first test ride. Auto mode is the go-to riding mode. Flight attendant adjust the front and rear suspension automatically according to the pedaling input, terrain and the selected bias adjustment setting. Auto modes green LEDs indicate if open pedal or lock is the current position of our suspension. And now I can fully focus on the good part. And that's the riding. Auto, auto mode is the go-to mode. There might be a situation where we like to change that. Manual mode disables auto mode and cycles through the three suspension settings, open, pedal and lock. We can get access by pushing the menu button on the flight attendant control module for two seconds. Manual mode is indicated by red LEDs on the control module. We can cycle to the settings by clicking the left hand two button controller. For sag adjustment and air spring tuning, for example, it's necessary to put the system manually into the open position. To exit and get back to auto mode, we click on the menu button again. All right mode is a shortcut to your favorite suspension option. This turns off auto mode and gets the system into lock by default. Mode adjustments can be done in the access app.
For its activation, we press and hold the assigned pedal on our access controller for about one second. Override mode is now indicated with orange LEDs. To exit and get back to auto mode, we click on the pedal again. With bias adjust, we can fine tune our suspension from blusher to harsher. The changes are applied to the auto mode suspension algorithm. To adjust bias, we press and release the menu button one time until the LEDs turn magenta. By default, the system is put into zero bias for the most balanced setup, indicated by a magenta LED sitting in the middle of the control module. Depending on personal riding style, we can shift the system to the open, that's minus one and minus two, or lock, that's plus one and plus two positions. Depending on the bias offset, the system favors more the open or the lock position. There is no right or wrong here. It really depends on personal preferences and maybe it needs some time and testing to set it up perfectly for you. To exit bias adjustment, press and hold the menu button for two seconds or we just wait for 10 seconds and the system will get back to auto mode. Low speed compression for both fork and shock can be adjusted with the flight attendant control module. It can be adjusted in 10 steps. To activate fork compression adjustment, press and release the menu button until the LEDs turn blue. Adjustments can be done with the plus and minus buttons. Every of the five LEDs can be either dull or bright, indicating two adjustment steps each. We can exit the fork compression adjustment by pressing and holding the menu button for two seconds. Or we just wait for 10 seconds and the system will get back to auto mode. To adjust the compression of the shock, press and release the menu button until the LEDs turn sign. We can use the adjustment buttons plus and minus on the control module to select your low speed compression setting. We can exit the shock compression adjustment by pressing and holding the menu button for 2 seconds or we just wait for 10 seconds and the system will get back to auto mode. The SRAM access app can be used to adjust settings on the entire access system. Apart from customizing controls, you can build bike profiles, check battery status or update the firmware. I hope you enjoyed the first steps with your flight attendant system and now it's time to go shredding. Yeah.